very excited. Um, everyone who's seen the trailer has found it very intriguing. Uh, there is a ki kind of a mystery in it which is not revealed. And um, like you said, there's 10 days left, so I'm very, very excited because uh, this is a very special film for me. In terms of, um, I've got a chance to work with Neelat Sir's production again, and the concept itself is very important, which is about model policing. This is the second time you are working with Neeraj Pandey mm -hmm. after MS Dhoni and that movie got super duper hit really. So how are you looking forward for this uh, movie? Uh, I'm just praying for people to like it yeah. and I think that's about it. We've given it our best shot. Uh, tell us something more about your role. So I play the role of a Maharashtrian middle class housewife and uh, who goes about her daily work so she comes back. But one fine day something happens in her life which changes her life in that little moment. Everything is uh, gone topsy-turvy. So the story is actually about that. You know, how one incident just changes everything. And how does it feel to uh, play a middle class housewife? Very interesting because I've never done something like this before. So for me it was uh, the first time I played a Maharashtrian Mulgi <laughs> and uh, so I had to speak Marathi and it was sync sound to practice karte rehna padta tha and uh, Shashant sir knows Marathi he helped quite a bit uh, his assistant Abha was there Sharad sir he knows Marathi he speaks Marathi so I think everyone helped me uh, so was it difficult for you to speak Marathi or it was challenging task for you little bit not much but yeah to get the accent right is a little difficult when you don't speak the language yeah. then I think it gets a little difficult to get the accent right uh, does Richard help you during the uh, shoot task? yes definitely he helped me so what do you want to say about the Sharad sir? Uh, Sharad sir is looking quite different in this role and strict, arrogant, so tell us something about it. Uh, I saw the trailer and whatever scenes we had, they were very, very, very intense. So he, he's got this whole, um, because he's tall and he's got a hefty look and he has that heavy voice, you know, his voice is something that everyone loves. He's played this role of a cop who's a tough one and uh, so I think it, it, people are going to really like him in this role. And what kind of response did you got from your family and friends after seeing you uh, Marathi movie, playing a Marathi movie? They are very excited, they are looking forward to this film and um, they haven't seen me in a role like this before. And now the things are getting very normal, movies are, uh, theatres are getting started, so what do you want to say about uh, the things are getting normal? Uh, it's good because I think it's very important for the industry to get back on its feet. There's been a huge uh, a loss for the industry, for everyone at, for that matter, because of COVID. Uh, people have suffered a lot. Um, but films, because each film uh, gives an opportunity for job to so many people. You know, it's, it's that one field where um, from director, cameraman, technicians, light men, spot boys, actors, writers, design, everyone is working together. So it's very good that movies are coming back in theatre. People are, um, I'm hoping people like the films that come out. Uh, it is good, you know, it, it's encouraging because uh, it's daily bread and butter for a lot of people. Okay, so is, uh, this movie is very like a uh, strict movie, I would say. So is there any uh, BTS, funny BTS moment during uh, the shoot -offs? Not really, because I think it was so intense, everyone was very involved. So I don't think there was anything like that. I mean, not with me, but I don't know for, for the other actors. For me, it was, uh, we were all in a very serious uh, zone when we were shooting this. Again. Excellent. I mean, this, that's one thing that I'm totally happy about to work with him. Um, he's such a fantastic director slash producer and a human being. He's very calm, composed and uh, very sorted. He has everything under control. I don't know he, how he does that, 
but it's amazing to work with him. And what do you want to say about the Neem Operation Romeo? This is something uh, different. Uh, yeah. Neem is coming up with something different. So what do you want to say about the Neem? Is there any clue we decide to? Uh, I think here, here, the Romeo's are their operation. <laughs> Not like literal, literal operation, but the thought process that happens in Romeo Juliet or whatever. I think they had to select this because it's moral policing on this movie. So it is you are trying to, to correct and dissect people, which I think is not needed so much. And when I talk about social media, we have always seen you in Instagram uh, putting pictures on Western. Now the trailer has come up, there are so many uh, uh, Indian ways. So did you get any uh, good response from wearing Indian ways? Yeah, because see, people have seen me like that earlier. They've seen me in Tere Naam like that. They've seen me in uh, Run also in Salwar Kameez. Or for that matter, Gandhi, my father. Or M.S. Dhoni. So it's just the character that you play and you wear clothes according to the character. So I think it's fine. Okay, so when we talk about uh, this movie, so what is upcoming, coming up next? Uh, I think for right now it's this. And I have uh, three movies coming up in South. Okay, in South. Yeah. Okay, now the South culture are getting bred. There are so many mm. South movies coming mm. up. So, what do you want to say uh, when we talk about RRR, then Pushpa was got really mm. then got very success in Indian cinema. So, how do you see uh, South coming to Indian cinema? It's very good. See, earlier also we used to have a lot of remakes. Now, I think the scale is larger. The technical scale has become huge. So it's good that they are being recognized internationally and instead of saying South cinema and North cinema and Bollywood, now it's become Indian films for people out of India. Uh, it is very nice that we are being able to together collectively come together as an industry, not separate as the South ki film hai wo. Now it's Indian cinema. Ho gaya. So people are recognizing it as Indian films are so huge and so much more larger than life, you know. And how do you see OTD platform? Because after lockdown, OTD platform has got something different. Yeah. Um, the industries have changed, now the people have started watching OTD platform. So how do you see OTD platform? I think it's very good because see, no, uh, some people like to watch movies at home, some people don't get time, people who work in MNCs or, or different companies. They just want to come home and just relax and put something. And the content coming on OTT is very good now. So it's good. I mean, uh, there's, there's good stuff, there's good content, there is good uh, web series, and people are enjoying it. So it's, it's running parallelly. The show is parallel show, you know. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about Operation Romeo. There are so uh, different, different characters. So what is the one character you would like to explore in future that you have not done in your past? <laughs> I don't know. I have not thought of it because I think I just take it as it comes. I don't think much. I would like, for me as an actor, I would like to do something that I have not done before. So for me that is a challenge. Kuch bhi karo, kuch, kuch alag hona chahiye, thoda. And lastly, what kind of response you, you are looking forward for depression from here? I think when you work hard for something, you always hope for the best and you leave the rest in God's hand. Thank you so much. Thank you.